What is up and welcome back to a brand new video. Last time we left off, we were just about to buy our Bombard, which we still can't do because we need six more Niter. Uh, we're still in the Heroic Age, so I'm not too worried about any loyalty problems. We are going to take out China in this video. I think I'm actually going to fortify Beowulf for a while, make sure he heals nicely, and then we can just move everybody in. These archers are kind of useless right now because they just get absolutely one shot, so it isn't even worth putting the archers in. Hannibal, I, I think getting the promotion right now is probably the best idea because he doesn't give my Bombards or my Coursers any combat advantages. For right now, when it comes to civics, I think beelining all the way to communism because that's the science government tier 3. I think it's a tier 3 government. In any case, we'll go for a temple for more culture and faith. We are catching up in science. Korea still has a pretty massive lead over us, although on the tech tree we are on the same sort of... Um, you're in the same era as them. So they probably spent like shipbuilding, celestial navigation, sailing, astrology, which is absolutely useless on a Pangea map. Uh, we'll go next turn and this capital and wherever Korea's capital is, which is, I have no idea where it is. Seoul is not, oh, no, it's Gengju, never mind. So I feel like we can go for a domination victory. If we beeline oil and get a few tanks... Because I don't think these are walled. They're not walled cities. They're not going to be walled. Then maybe we could send two tanks to each city and take them out at the same time. I feel like we could definitely try something like that. Uh, this great scientist, I would love to put him right there. But the best place for him to go would be here. He does give you 250 science for each adjacent mountain. And that is the best location we can get. So a few more turns and we are going to have 48 turns. That is not worth it. A few more turns and we're going to have our bombards. We're going to be able to buy one. So everybody over here is just going to fortify. Uh, I think I'm just going to fortify Beowulf for a while. He does have five turns left, so maybe I could take out a few units. Everybody just stay fortified. And I'm not going to buy anything because i got to buy the Bombard. Korea doesn't like me. It's, it's, it kind of makes sense. I have taken out the entire world. Over here with the scouts, you are in danger. Ooh, Barbarian Corsair, we are not going to go deal with that. Here in my capital, which has pretty good production, we'll get the university. A few universities, and we will be ahead of Korea and Poundmaker. Uh, one more turn, and we will be able to buy the Bombard. And we are in a Golden Age next era, which is seven turns away. There so back-to-back -back Golden Ages should be enough for us to win the game. Let's go for... Hmm. Two gold or double commercial hub adjacency. How many commercial hubs do we have? Um... I think leaving it like this for now is probably the best option. Yes, and then here in Xingyang, we can get our Bombard. There we go, more error score as well. And how much damage do you do to this city? Can't see yet. This knight does have a promotion, and I can't move back, so I might have to use it a little earlier than I planned. We will move in next turn, and this is perfect. Medieval and Renaissance era great general. Where is he at? Right over there. Transfer him here, and this should have three movement speed. You have six. Do you count as a medieval? Or I think, I think coursers are medieval area units, right? Yes, because they are the same. What do you give again? You are. What's your bonus? Or not the horseman, the great general. Medieval and Renaissance era units, so everyone's gonna have a boost. And next turn, we'll even be able to upgrade this last horseman, which should be very very good. I don't know. <laughs> I guess the extra economic slot isn't the worst thing. I, I have to go for one right now. This is just, this is absolutely insane. This is absolutely insane. We just we couldn't get the ley lines, dude, no matter how hard we tried. So I guess the Owls of Minerva are going to be fine. Two housing for three specialty districts. I think I'm going to go trade charters for now because that will give us a good amount of gold. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of gold right there. Let's get a university in this city and a library in this city. Science is about to skyrocket beyond proportions. Korea likes me, and Poundmaker does not. We do. Poundmaker doesn't have a really strong military. You know what I'm going to do? If I can. She doesn't really like Poundmaker too much. Let's... Oh, well, we can't do a joint war because you've denounced me. How long? 30 turns. What about you? 10 turns. I might go to Poundmaker and get him to go to war with me with Korea. So I can take Suwon and maybe even their capital. We'll see. Though. Right now we have to do with what's in front of us, and that is... China. They do have a good amount of wonders because they are China, An architect. although their city is walled and it is absolutely gargantuan. Although with the Bombard, it should make things a little bit easier. Gonna move the knight over here. We are going to promote you to Barding. 
You can come up there. You can come up there. You can come up there. City surrounded. And with this horseman, we'll cross and then promote him next turn. We'll get a university over here. And then we can actually go to this city state. Yes. And then here, you guys can just, just skip your turn. City does do a gargantuan amount of damage. So we do have to be careful of that. We've got the great scientist. That is two free technologies. We'll go next turn. And 40 damage. Okay. They do have a musketman in that city. And I guess we could bring in Beowulf as well. Uh, no, you're gonna... Yeah. After we take this city, Longji, and... Ah, oh, they're also a really strong city, so we do have to be careful. Probably would end up needing a second Bombard, so I'm actually gonna save my money. You can plunder the trade route. You can... Pillage and fortify. Just everybody fortify. I might lose a horse unit or two. Yeah, it's a musketman. Well, there goes Beowulf. We do get a great work out of it, though, so I guess it's fine. Uh, don't want to have to upgrade this guy. Okay, move the courser out of the way. Then we'll surround it with this courser. Continue attacking the city. We'll upgrade the horseman and bring him in next turn. And then a new governor title with this great merchant. We can't make, like, monopolies yet and corporations. So I'm going to use him to get a free governor title, which will be ritual, probably. The Gilded Vault replaces the bank. That might be really good. What is the Gilded Vault? I don't think I've ever built it. It is... Grants culture equal to gold adjacency, and un having a harbor will give you a trade route. So I guess the culture is pretty good. The other ability, not so much. We'll, we'll deal with it, though. Let's get a university here. Even though it's going to take a long time, we're just going to build everything with the builder, so it should be sooner than usual. Let's hit you, and then you guys are fine. Yeah, this city's just absolutely massive right now. Uh, you back out next turn. How much is that? Yeah, the city's not doing too much damage anymore. Uh, let's fortify. Let's continue attacking. You can't pillage anything. You're going to fortify. You're going to come here. When can we start attacking? Not yet. Let's bring this corset to the city to heal. And then over here, we are going to produce... No, no, no. You're going to go. You're going to get a builder. The production in the old Netherlands city sucks tremendously. Let's chop this and then build a mine up there. And then, yeah, you guys run back. We'll go next turn now. And the city does not seem... Okay, that was the catapult attack. I was going to say the city did like five damage, but no, that was the catapult. Uh, we're going to attack one more time. Oh, we could use another great general. Or another bombard for sure. Can't pillage anything, really. Can I pillage anything here? Yes, I can. I'll do that. Come back. In it needs orders, you just stay fortified. Uh, you get a mine. And then in the next few turns, we should be able to start like attacking the city with our melee units. Uh, okay, this course has got to back out. There's a Renaissance hero. We get another Golden Age. Not as heroic as our last age, but still great nonetheless. This guy, I'm actually going to back here and fortify. China's in a dark age, so we should be able to keep our cities much easier. And I think... Reform the coinage or monumentality. Because monumentality will allow me to use my faith. Although I could get Beowulf back. Hmm. The builders might be helpful, especially after taking these cities down. I think we're going to go monumentality. Because faith buying builders is just insanely strong. Like, look at that. 140. 140. Let's get one in Amsterdam too, why not? Oh, that was with money. I did not mean to do that. Let's get a few builders here. Because these cities still aren't really as strong as I'd like them to be. Over here, we can actually get a... I would get a... Yeah, let's get a plus two campus. Uh, okay, your food is a little bit too struggling. Nothing much I can do about that though. Um, I guess you can swap with this tile. Should be fine. And then production here, we'll get a university. Here we'll get a university, and over here we can attack again. Let's keep that city surrounded. Yes. Now when can we start attacking with these guys? Oh my god, we gotta take out the walls first. Yeah, 64 combat strength cities, just absolutely insane. Good news is though, uh, I was gonna say if we take Xi'an, we could like loyalty steal Longshi, but that's not gonna happen. Ah, oh, yeah, this is a struggle right now. What can be I think we're a little o in over our heads here. They got musketmen. Yeah, they are pretty far ahead tech-wise. 
Mm-hmm. I think we should make peace. We still have a massive military advantage over them, so I think... You want me to pay you? No, you really thought. Okay, I'm gonna back out for now, because we're not taking that city. Not with these units, no. So we are gonna back out. We are going to fortify, as will you. Okay, I think cavalry. We're gonna need cavalry and coursers now. Let's get industrialization into cavalry and coursers. Yeah, that's the only thing we can do. If we had two bombards, we would have taken the city. Um, let's get a Keshig just for the error score. And here in Amsterdam, you can continue on the university. Let's get some luxuries to help out with growth. And over here, this builder can come repair some of these tiles. Perfect. And you can just get some more production into the city. Okay. Yep, let's keep improving these old cities. And you can chop that. We'll get the university much sooner now. And here you can... It's a triangle farm here. Next turn. Yeah, we'll see what China tries to do. In diplomacy, there is... uh, we're just going to st sit tight right now until we get one or two more bombards and then until we can upgrade our coursers and our knights. We are making a lot of money per turn, so we should be able to do those things fairly easily. Let's chop out the marsh. And over here, let's go get... Let's go chop that. We'll get a mine and then chop and then mine. Yes. Let's get some more mercury. And over here, let's get... That's not that's not improved yet. Let's get a mine. And then we are repairing all these cities. They should be much, much stronger. What is this? What just happened? And apparently one of my units... Did I... I no way I told him to move in like that. My god, okay. That was a bug. Uh, we're gonna need a few more horse units. Probably build some in Rotterdam. After we get the Ordo. Let's go chop this. And then unit needs orders. Let's get another mine. Our science should skyrocket in the next few turns. Let's get some Mercury. Let's go next turn now. And let's get some Amber. Nice. Okay, soon we should get industrialization. Uh, let's get a university and I'll actually faith by a builder. Yes. Then here in Karakarum, let's get a... Let's faith by a builder here. Uh, we'll get one in the next few turns. For right now, you can get started on a monument. And here you can build a mine, I guess. Come in the city and fortify. We need a few more cavalry. Two more cavalry and one or two more bombards, I think, is what we need. Yes. And then how much would Beowulf cost if we wanted to bring him back? A thousand. King Arthur. I forgot we had him as well. I think I'll save up a thousand faith then. Yes, that does seem like a good idea. We'll just take the next few turns to just fortify everybody, make sure we're all healed up, make sure we get our military strength back up. Get a Keshig. Don't know what he upgrades to. Probably something nice. We'll get a library. And then let's get some more farms here. I mean, it might as well. There's lots of good farmland. And then here we'll get a mine. And then here you can, I guess chop something yeah printing press okay nice and then industrial zone yeah we can get a plus two right there and you over here can come build a mine and then you over here can come build another mine and then here you can go chop that nice all right we'll go next turn now we are moving in into our cities you want coal for gold forgot to check how much are we making i'm not giving you guys anything you didn't give me any nighter when i wanted making about plus three per turn there's the Keshig. Keshig isn't really the strongest unit. In Civ 5, it was an absolute monster, though. Don't get me started on Civ 5 Keshigs. But they kind of nerfed them. Like, pretty much the Keshig is a ranged cavalry that doesn't upgrade from anything. And it just gives, like, a bonus movement speed to, like, builders and stuff, which isn't really that good. Get a Bombard in this city. And over here, you can get a Mine. And then here in this city, you can get a Courser. Yes. Get a mine here. Then let's get a triangle farm up there. And actually, we can bring this horseman to help in our conquests. What does the Keshe even upgrade into? I think it's like uh, field cannons. I think he upgrades into a field cannon. I'm fairly certain he does. Uh, in any case, let's actually go across the river so they can't do anything. And... Okay. We can attack. 
and then you can finish him off. Apparently not. Okay, well, you stay fortified then. Good news is I don't think they're going to repair their walls by the time we get a second bombard. And if we take out their units... Ah, they got pike and shots. They got pike and shots. We're going to need... Hmm. All right. Change things up a little bit. We are going to need some crossbows. Yeah, we'll get machinery. And then where are the field cannons? Then just ballistics, military science. Yes. Chop that builder. You can come over. I do want that uh, coffee. But the most important thing right now is we got to be able to counter these uh, pike and shots. We only have archers. I will be able to upgrade them into crossbows. I don't even think crossbows will be enough against these guys. Alright, are you willing to make peace? You're not willing to trade anything to make peace. Okay. He's pretty confident he can win, I guess. Alright. Um, you're a crosser. Okay, you can come to the city and attack. We'll back everybody up. Then here in the city, we can build... Uh, the Keshiks do have two range, so I guess they can be pretty... Well, not really. Not really that useful. We need some ranged units. I'll build an archer and then just upgrade a few of them to crossbows. That's probably the best we're going to be able to do. You stay fortified. Unit needs orders. You can get... Go there and chop out the Ordo. Might need to start buying some more units, though. Yeah, they ended up repairing Zion. Everything has its limit. Okay. Back you up, hit you like that, and then you can come there, and then we can just focus fire this pike and shot. All right, I have 51 combat strength. Get plus five from a great. Oh, that's why they. It's an emergency. That's why they don't want to make peace. I get it now. Well, in any case, we will have river defense, so I, this course is going to be fine, especially if we give him some support bonuses. Then here in Rotterdam, you can come out with a university, I guess. Um, come build the mine then. Yeah. Get a university here, and then we'll upgrade some of these guys. And are we building? Yeah, we're building a bombard in my capital. And you can come here and build a mine. And then over here, you can stay fortified. And then over here, we can get another mine. Next turn. Wonder what this pike and shot is going to do. You move up. Next turn it. Whoa, I forgot. Okay. These pike and shots are a little more difficult than I thought. We do get some of our combat strength back because the emergency's over. And we can upgrade this crossbowman as well. We're going to need to buy a few more units. Okay, we're going to get field cannons soon. So I think buying a crossbowman and then we will have two crossbows. Three crossbows. That'll be three field cannons. Okay. I know this is rough terrain, but it's a road, so this guy's going to have to back out for now. We are making enough gold per turn, though, so we can't just stay where we are. I'm not going to make peace with them. We're just going to stay how we are, and then we're going to upgrade everybody and continue the war. Nope. You're in a dark age, so you're not doing too hot as is. We'll attack the pike and shots. There we go. You can come here, sort of distract that pike and shot. And then you fortify, and next turn you can upgrade. Although, okay. Next turn we'll get humanism, and we'll get the minus 50% discount to upgrade units. Yes. Here in this city... Oh man, my amenities are terrible. You get a spy. We're going to need one. Actually, no. You get a builder to get that coal down there, and you can get ourselves a spy. And you can come here, and one more farm. And then here you can wait until you become a crossbowman. All right. Yep. Fortifying is good. There's humanism. Alright, we are going to trade now. Professional army. We'll get that instead of... Uh, yeah, we need gold right now more than anything. So, I can upgrade both of these guys in the same turn. I th Yes. And then this Keshig does not upgrade into a crossbowman, it doesn't look like. But you can take out that... Almost take out that pike and shot. Boom. Boom. We are getting a good amount of experience, though, so it is all good. You go chop that. I'll probably build a district there. And over here in, my, in this city, you can get the university. You can get the Watt. Yes. 
All right, we fended off the Chinese counterattack, and we are pretty far ahead militarily, and we are making the most science per turn as well. And now we're only four techs behind Korea, which is really good. We'll get the Corsair, we'll get the Corsair units, we'll get field cannons, we'll have two bombards, and with that we should be able to smash through the Chinese. So, okay, this Pike and Shot's in an absolutely terrible position. You stay there, you attack. You can go there and chop out, yes. You can come up there. Now we are going to get another field cannon in three turns. And we should have enough gold with professional army to upgrade everybody that I want. China has 159 combat strength, not a lot. Wow, smart move by the AI, moving into the open terrain. Well, it does seem like you are still going to die, though. We got an armory in this city. And here we are going to wait a few more turns. Right, you come there. You come there. And over here we are, yes, we were going to Faith by a Builder. And you can actually get started on a, not a campus, I guess. Industrial Zone. Yeah, plus two Industrial Zone is a great investment. All right, don't know what they want. Let's get on our knees. There's ballistics. All right, let's attack with the bombard so I can upgrade some of these guys. 155 for a field cannon. And we don't have the knight, so we're not going to be able to upgrade him. Get the library. That is another Corsair. We're going to get the bombard next turn, and we will be able to attack in the next few turns. Not to mention, we also have a great general, so that is another added boost. All right. You can come here and build a mine. And let's try to make a deal with Poundmaker. What would it take for you to give me all your gold? Okay, well, apparently he only wants Mercury. How do I add Diplomatic Favor, though? Probably from the emergency. What about that? What about that? Nice. Alright, and with that gold, I can upgrade this Crossbowman. And we'll be able to upgrade the other Crossbowman. I don't think I'm going to wait until Coursers because field cannons are... Yeah, field cannons will get the job done, no doubt about it. Uh, you can come in the city and hit him. You can move up there. You can move up there, and I'm actually going to back you out because you might get tag-teamed. Uh, you stay fortified. Production-wise, we'll get a factory. There is the Bombard. And right here, we'll go... We'll go to Mexico... No, no Mexico City. Taruga? No. I, it, this... And, yeah, this is really the only city-state we can go to. Everything else goes through China. Let's buy this tile. Alright, well, apparently this guy doesn't move. Hmm... Oh well. We'll get a mine up here. Nice, the city's starting to look good. And then you can move up. But I'm actually going to move this guy as far east as I can so this Bombard can get more movement speed. Not going to make that deal. He's about to lose two of his units. All the best, whatever is contrary. Alright. All right, we'll use the Bombard to do absolutely nothing. Oh wow, these units. Cash eggs aren't doing too well right now. You can attack. You can stay fortified. You can attack. Alright. You can move up there. You can move here. There. Nice. Upgrade into another field cannon. Three field cannons, two bombards, and going to be one, two, three, four, four Corsair units. The Corsair units are really just to take the city. They're not really going to be able to hit the city for a while. Let's get an industrial zone here. You stay fortified. The pike and shot I don't think can kill anyone. Could be wrong, but I am going to place my money. Alright, well, apparently we'll have three Corsair units. Alright, let's try to finish them off with these guys, because I don't really need them for right now. And I can upgrade this guy to a field cannon as well. Here come the bombards, and how long until I can upgrade to cavalry? A little too long. I gotta kill a unit with a knight. I'm afraid they're just going to focus fire my field cannons and my bombards, though. Ooh. Yeah. Well, doesn't really matter. Let's move this guy. Let's start moving, everybody. Okay, you can come there. Nice. University. Skip your turn. Unit needs orders. You go get that. And then how many bill charges? Two, so I can get the cattle as well. And this crossbowman can actually come down and help. 
and I will faith buy a builder to get that Afi resource. China has 43 combat strength, so they don't really have anything. Let's move our units in as close as we can without getting hit. This, this Corsair can actually switch and heal in the city. Okay, you can move and attack next turn. We can move you there, and then you can come here, and then the two Bombards can move and attack next turn. And the Coursers have so much movement speed, doesn't even matter. Alright, perfect. Uh, come and get... Go chop... Ooh, no, you were going to get that. Yes. Here in this city, we can get... Man, I need amenities so badly. Let's get a monument. And then you can go get that. And then envoy time. Two envoys. Where do I send them? Let's get Taruga. And then I guess we could get suzerainty of this city-state. Alright, there we go. And two heroes. Hercules and oh yes. Okay, I don't really need either of them. Uh, everybody skip your turn. Hmm. Okay, next turn. No. I offered to make peace with you and you said no. The only units he has are just these uh, city-state units. So it should be fine. Oh, we can move you down there. And this city's weaker than when we first attacked it, so we can move everyone in without too much fear of dying. I do want to surround the city, so you go there. So we need units in these two spots. Alright. Well, we'll move in the Bombards to attack. And then... Don't want to promote him, we'll save it until he needs to promote. Same thing with this guy. Let's attack this guy, and then you can come over here, and then there, and you come over there because the city's not going to be surrounded. Culture bomb when completing an industrial zone in any city, I like that. And you can move up, and China should be dead in the next few turns. We'll take the capital, and then we'll call it a video. It is getting pretty long. We'll get some coal, we'll go next turn. Yep. The earlier one we attacked it, it had 60-something combat strength. Let's get triangular trade. Yes. And then where's the great scientist one? I don't need professional army anymore. And I think that's good for now. Yes. We do need amenities, though. So we will get this one, liber liberalism. Put it instead of serfdom. Money's starting to go down, but we do have a lot of units. So there is that. All right, we can begin attacking. City should be surrounded. Why is it? Okay. Someone needs to go there. No. Oh, because you come here and then there we go. Boom. Boom. And then... City Falls next turn. Maybe next two turns, I think. Alright. Here we'll get an industrial zone. Instead of the farm, I guess. And armory in this city... And you are giving everyone boosts. That's good. You stay fortified. You stay fortified. And you can go build a mine. Nice. And I think there is the other builder. Can you get the co coffee? Yes, you can. Should help with amenities. Alright. Absolutely nothing. City should die this turn. There's a World Congress. Let's make this great scientists. And I, this is going to be city center all the time. Yep, city center and its great merchant. That's fine. Let's take China's capital. Yeah, the capital falls this turn. And just like that, we fended off the Chinese counterattack and were able to take their capital city. They're on a dark age, so it should not be hard at all to keep these cities. And the rest of these cities should fall in short order. We're going to send all my units to go take Longji because it's strong. And then Handan because it's strong. And then these cities... I don't know how strong they are, and they do look kind of tough to take. We'll take Shanghai. Xiao Dong should fall to us, just loyalty pressure-wise. After that, we should have about 20 cities. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yes, we should have 20 cities. Then after that, we have a choice. We can either continue and go for Korea and the Kree, or we could go beeline tanks, get some to go to Guaya, this city, and some to go to this city, just win a domination victory like that. 
or we could just bundle up for a science victory. I'll think about it. Thinking about just building the tanks and going for the both of them. But uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.